wanted to just make a quick video and share my progress on a mixed media mashup deck that I'm making and the tiles I'm making for it and thought you might like to see it too. I'd like to give a shout out to Stacy Evans for giving me the, the uh, inspiration to create my mixed media deck. She is the channel owner of Pink Poodle Crafts here on YouTube and she does mixed media mashup every week. Now mixed media is something that I'm very new to. I've only learned about it probably like about a year ago. I come from a traditional art background having been an artist all my life but studying commercial art for four years in high school. So this is something very new to me and it's a fun new twist and spin on art and something I want to explore more. So she teaches people how to do art in a non-judgmental, creative, no pressure sort of situation where you're not trying to come up with anything. It's not like staring at a blank page and having a block or going blank. You pull out the cards and they help you get your foot, uh, help you take that first step to creating a finished product. So this is my deck. Now I watched her video where she talked about the prompts that she used and I used a lot of her prompts for this deck but I also used a lot of other prompts. I looked at other YouTube videos of people's decks. I looked online for prompts. I looked on Google Images for prompts. I looked on Pinterest for prompts and so I created quite a um, nice sized prompt deck and I also made up a lot of prompts on my own. So if I take off the lid you see these are my prompt cards and there are a hundred cards in this deck plus ten action cards. Now my mixed media deck is very different from most other people's decks. Um, as a faith-based person I always try to see how I can incorporate some of my faith into my well yeah, some of my faith into my art. And so there's always going to little be a little piece of that in everything I do. And that's also the true for this deck. Now some of the cards are laminated and some aren't. So there's a hundred cards, um, a hundred prompts. But if you see, I have room to put about a hundred more. And always looking to expand my deck. So if you have some good prompts, uh, or some interesting prompts, leave them in the comments below, and if I like them, I'll add them to my deck. So, this deck is very simply created. It's an old Ortega taco shell box that I made into the bottom of the box deck, and then I put a shell of cardboard around it. Now, the box is a quarter of an inch taller than the cardboard shell to give a nice little lip for the lid. So it makes it sit nice and flush. The lid is also of course upcycled cardboard. Anyway, so that's that. And I will do a video on how I created my deck. And if you want to do the same thing, I'll give you all the prompts. Now it's going to be a long video because there's a lot of prompts. Actually, there's a hundred cards in this deck but two hundred prompts. So uh, it's you know, whenever I'm watching something and it grabs my attention, I always like to think, how can I put my own little spin on it to make it interesting and valuable and perfect for me? So it's not just a question of recreating something for me. It's like, how can I put my stamp on it so that it'll interest me? So, yeah, mine has some unique concepts in it and if you like it you can recreate it if not you can do your own thing that's always allowed now in terms of decorating this deck I've been inspired and I'll narrow it down to three people because I watch a lot of videos on YouTube it's a great way to learn a lot of things and I have learned a lot um, so the three people that I've learned the most from in terms of tile work are uh, Sarah from My Serenity Crafts, Patty from Patty Tolly Parish, and Sona Gregorian. And I will leave a link in my playlist to some of the videos that that, that uh, have inspired me, and you can check that out, the Things That Inspire Me playlist. And you'll find these women, I encourage you to check them out. You will definitely, I'm not even, there's no doubt in my mind that you won't be inspired 
by the wonderful things that these women create. So my first set of tiles, the largest set, has been inspired by Sarah and Patty. And I'll just go through quickly like some of the tiles I created. So these are blank tiles. I just grab them here. Um, there's a quite a stack of blank tiles. And these are what I call filler tiles based on um, what Patty Tolly Parrish calls her filler tiles. Now you paint these little slivers and these little blanks and you stick them in wherever you have a little gap or something that needs to be filled. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Some of these are also textured, but these are all filler, filler tiles and I have a lot of them because to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to use all of these tiles or even how, but I'd rather have them made than not made so that if I need them, they're there. And if I don't, I can always use them on something else. So these are all my filler tiles. And of course, they're not painted yet. I just had to create all the tiles first. And then these are embossed tiles. Now I used an embossing folder as you can see, there's a raised texture design on it. So I just used an embossing folder. Cut these up. And I'll paint them. This is one of the ones I really like. <laughs> Wait, if I can find it. <laughs> it says free. I like that tile. So you, you just press the clay into the embossing folder and then you take it out. So that's those tiles. And then with the embossing, I also embossed 2018 because this is the year I'm going to explore mixed media a little bit more. So I'm going to put that on my deck as a commemorative set of tiles. Now here's the typical style of tiles you will see them do like the cut and slash type styles where you just make designs into the clay. This is a channel tile. I can put caviar beads in or small uh, chain link or small beaded chain in those channels. Geometric. You can color each individual area different colors or whatever pattern you choose regular squares. So those are those tiles. And then we have the stamped tiles. And these are a pair of butterfly earrings that I stamped into the clay and then I will glue them on. This is an earring that I stamped into two pieces of clay that I will paint. And this is a peacock ring that I had that broke. So I just imprinted the peacock design into the clay and I will remove the crystals from the peacock design and put them uh, in here and repurpose and recycle them that way. So that's that set of tiles. This next set of tiles I'm going to call the All About Me tiles. I've never, I haven't come across anybody who's done um, this set of tiles before where the tiles are sort of uh, indicative of who they are as a person. So I decided to do these and put them on my deck. And I, I always like to tell people I'm the three A's. I'm an actor, I'm an artist, and I'm an author. So I had to include a sheet of paper and a pencil because I like to write books, I like to write plays, I like to write film scripts or screenplays, I like to write um, poetry, I like to write lyrics, so I like to write all sorts of things. So I had to include the blank page and a pencil. Uh, I studied commercial art for four years but I've been an artist my whole life so I had to include a paint palette and this is just a traditional kind that usually when people see this they know it's a paint palette. It's sort of iconic. I did some tubes of paint, a 
paint brush a tiny canvas that I will paint something on and for the sculptor in me it's a couple of bricks of polymer clay <laughs> I thought that was cute I'm also an actress you can say actor or actress it's pretty gender neutral nowadays people just call themselves actors uh, and this is the comedy and tragedy mask every thespian knows this is the symbol of our profession as a family person I wanted to create a family tile I just kind of scratched family into there and we'll probably put some pictures of my family in there just as a reminder to me and a cool idea for a tile and last but certainly not least definitely gotta have some faith tiles tiles as a Christian I had to put this one this crown represents the kingdom of God so I had to put that one, it was fantastic. And then these keys represent the three keys to the kingdom, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are, in my opinion, the keys to everything. So that's that set of tiles. Then I decided to do my own uh, set of tiles. Now I didn't create these tiles, I didn't invent this. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun, so the chances of you or me re like really creating something new are slim to none. So I'm not trying to say, oh, I did this, or you know, I did this first. What I mean by what I created is that these are tiles that I kind of thought of without even looking at anybody's videos to point back to, to say, oh, you know, I was watching such and such do this or that. Oh, but before I do that, let me get to the, the other inspirational person. So that that was a mix between Sarah and Patty Tolly Parrish. Now this is a sonogram. Now, this is a tile inspired by Sona Gregorian, and I pulled her pattern right off of her website and recreated this tile. She is spectacular as an artist, and she does jewelry. You definitely need to check out her tutorial with this uh, tile in it. Now, her printout, just I'll just quickly show you. Sorry, hitting my lamps and everything. This was the size of her printout. And I'll, I just wanted to see if I could do it. It's a spectacular design. Just a nice geometric, simple, not simple, complex, but beautifully done, uh, cyclical sort of elements, repetitive elements that were really wonderful and I was like, can I do that? And I didn't want to do it the normal size. I figured if I could do it in miniature, I probably can do it in um, one to one scale. So I did a miniature tile and this is slightly bigger than a quarter of the size of her original piece. But you can see it's pretty, pretty decent, pretty close. Of course, in miniature, a lot of the detail kind of gets wiped off because it's so tiny and it's easy to kind of um, press a detail away by accident, you know, with your knife, your tool, your finger, whatever, especially as the clay gets softer. But I'm pretty um, happy with this and I just wanted to put a little representation of her on my box just because she's such a fantastic uh, um, artist. So now here's my tiles. Okay, so I call these biscuit tiles. You may feel free to do the same. I call it that because they look like little crackers or little biscuits that have been baked. And you just take your small ball tool and gently press into the clay until you get these small divots. And this I call a cushion tile. It looks like a tufted cushion and I just made cross hatches in the clay and took my uh, ball tool and pressed where wherever the hatches hatch marks met and then you can put little flat back crystals or anything in there and make it really blingy and pretty and if it looks good I'll probably end up making a lot more of these because I just have this idea that it's gonna look cute and then this is just um, one of those block quote stamps where you have like 
a really big quote uh, in, a, in a rubber stamp so I just put like a small strip of clay across it probably originally started out something like that stamped it cut it up and then I decided to slash at the edges so I call these tattered tiles so give you a little bit of a close-up you can see how the edges are slashed and the reason I created this is because everybody always does these perfectly straight angular tiles and I thought well what if you had tiles with rough edges what if you had tiles that weren't all even and neat and straight and perfect that didn't fit together that didn't have edges you could butt up something against would that ruin your piece would you not be able to do something cohesive and artistic and lovely with um rough edged tiles i don't know i had to make some rough edged tiles so i could see so i will try to figure out how to make it work it may work it may not but it's worth trying then I wanted to do some dimensional tiles so I saw this picture on Google um, it was a lace pattern and I thought it was cute it was simple it was basic and I wanted to see how it looked popped up in dimensional and 3d on clay so this is what I came up with as you can see this it's like a mirror image but look you can see that nice texture and dimension I can't wait to paint this and see what it looks like. Uh, I can't wait to paint all of these and see what they look like. And then finally, last but certainly not least, my marquee tiles or my title tiles. And of course, it stands for Mixed Media Mashup Deck and my channel name today, Special Minis by Peapod. How clever. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. So, there you go. That's my deck in a nutshell. Mm, try to say that uh, don't well don't say that too fast uh, <laughs> almost anyway um, so thank you for checking this out I will probably do a video on me painting these tiles um, I don't know if I can figure out how to do a live stream I might do that too if you want me to do some videos if you have some requests uh, you know put them below and I'll see what I can do but for now, thank you for watching. And I'll leave you with this good thought that I say to myself all the time. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I hear. I'm not moved by what I feel. I'm only moved by what I believe. And I believe the word of God. So whatever you're going through, find you a scripture to stand on. Meditate on it. Say it. Repeat it. Let it build up inside of you. And... You were sure to see it manifest. So whatever you do, stand on something and make sure what you stand on is the word of God. I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.